Vlogtober, day 11. Ooh. Uh, I may have told you about the cold that was starting yesterday, last night. It was horrible. I uh, had completely obstructive nares bilaterally. So I uh, had to have my mouth open to breathe. And uh, you know, it was kind of like using a snorkel. Uh, a little uncomfortable, so I had to get up just to uh, be able to breathe comfortably. Thankfully, it cleared on my right nostril. Um, still obstructed on the left. Um, I really don't feel like going to work, but nasal obstruction is not a reason to stay home. Oh, medicines. Um, if I were to take any medicine for this, which I haven't, um, I would consider Mucinex or Mucinex D. Um, Mucinex D has a decongestant and can raise blood pressure and heart rate and be a stimulant that makes it difficult to sleep. Uh, Mucinex, just plain Mucinex would not really do anything for the congestion. It's a mucus thinner and I don't really... Uh, maybe it would have made it easier to... I, no, no, decongestant is the only thing that would have made it easier to breathe last night. So, um, I'm not having fever or body aches. I'm not taking any Tylenol or ibuprofen. So, no medicine at this point. Antibiotics do absolutely nothing for a cold. And, in fact, are uh, possibly even uh, bad in that people have adverse reactions. A certain percentage of people will have a true allergic reaction, actually die from antibiotics. Uh, the antibiotics kill off your body's good bacteria, so you get problems with your GI tract, like diarrhea, uh, sometimes upset stomach. So really, no reason to take those at all. Um, so I just need to be well hydrated and keep working at getting good rest. If if Leanne were to get me a Dutch Brothers mocha this morning, I would, I would accept it. Christina was kind enough to get me the uh, mocha I mentioned earlier as I was still in bed this morning <laughs> because Leanne was running Kara to the train station this morning. Uh, Dwayne is here for the very purpose of confirming that the birds will run with you in the the, the one opens its beak and moves its head up and down and puts its wings out, runs right there with you. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> yes, I've had them. I've had them. <laughs> okay. In the exact same way. Okay, see come you. On, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, finally. No belief for you. Come on, come on, guys, let's go. Come on. Keep going! Yeah, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, we tripped over something. Yeah, come on, come on. Good job, guys! Finally! Ah, high five! Yeah, high five. Yeah. All right. Made it to the end of another day of work. About to go on my run. Uh, time for an update, though, uh, because Claire Westmoreland in the UK did ask for an update on the. Uh, the uh, conversation with Dr. Sandra Lee at this point, it looks like we're not going to uh, schedule a collaboration for the type of procedure that Laverne needed. It's a, it's a unique procedure. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, she does not have any Mohs uh, surgery procedures on any of her videos, and that's because of the nature of the procedure, the, the in and out of the room, the having you know four to six patients in different rooms all going at once, uh, the 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 back and forth and busyness of it, uh, it doesn't lend itself to a YouTube video. Um, so we won't see a, a collaboration at this time. Uh, we're, we're both open to doing a collaboration of some kind in the future. It's just this, this isn't it now. So uh, it's kind of open-ended. We don't have uh, something specific planned. Although, hey, if you guys are commenting on other uh, doctors' YouTube channels. Uh, I, I would love to talk. I would love to have a conversation about collaboration. You guys have seen me collaborate before with Dr. Aller and Dr. Gilmore and Dr. Larry Mellick, uh, Dr. Carlson. I love doing it. Uh, for the most part, the type we've done where it's just doctors around 
uh, talking on a Google Hangouts or something like that, we, we get very, very low views compared to our other videos for that kind of project. So there's not a lot of motivation to do it uh, because we just don't feel like there's interest in an audience. I know there's some people that are interested in it, but we, we when we can get so much more interest and have so many more views uh, and comments on another type of video it really feels like uh, the world is getting more out of uh, a different type of video so uh, it, it'd have to be something something interesting more than just talk it, it'd have to be uh, something creative so we're open to that um, I actually think um, that it'd be interesting to do a collaboration with Nick Chitty who I believe is in the UK because uh, we both tend to do a lot with ears um, it's not necessarily something I, I do on purpose, although, of course, they're very popular on the Internet. It's just uh, we're good at it. Uh, there is a bit of enjoyment to it on, on my end because I like being able to get those things cleaned out and do a good job. And, and it's satisfying to leave the patient with uh, a much cleaner ear than when they came in. Just did one today. They'll probably come out this week. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on it. Comment down below. And... Uh, I love my regular commenters, the regular commenters being uh, Lisa Antwine or Lindsay Antwine and Boo Boo Kitty and also we have from the UK, Claire Westmoreland. But other people are welcome to join the conversation. We're glad to have you too. And other people are welcome to, to subscribe. So uh, I look forward to Vlogtober Day 12. I'll see you there.